Today's topic is called protected time. When I worked in one busy HR department, our head of HR instructed us, the whole team, to put protected time in our diaries solely for the purpose of updating cases we were advising managers on. He considered this one activity to be so important that nothing else was allowed to encroach on this time. Now, I'm sure I could say that protected time came easily to the team or the ethos of putting protected time in our diaries came easily to the team, but it took a while for it to become a habit for all of us. However, when it did, the weekly requirement of updating the files paid us back a hundredfold. We became more organised, efficient and focused. Most of us could say where each of our cases were at any given point, and that's no easy fate because some of the team had upwards of 70 cases at any given time. Now to cap it all, our stress levels fell considerably. Now I say that to say this, you can use the same principles to focus in and improve on any area that is relevant to you. So for example, if you wanted to improve your communication skills, you may choose to speak to your manager to determine whether you can actually incorporate that area of development into your objectives or personal development plan and at the same time request the time to focus on that particular area of growth. Say one to two hours a week unless of course it's a formal course. Now personally speaking you may choose to protect your time by saying no to or limiting invitations or requests for help that will or potentially drain your already pressed resources. For others of you, it may be cutting down on your working hours or working more flexibly to spend time with your families or pursue an activity or hobby that you enjoy. So here are some practical steps to protect your time. Plan your week on a Sunday night so you know in advance what you're doing for the rest of the week. Get enough sleep so that you can be at your most effective. You can also write to-do list, which will help you to organise your time. Start your day earlier, have quiet time and or time to pray. You can also get your most important tasks done first thing in the morning. And from a team working perspective, you can suggest better ways of working with your manager or your team and invite suggestions at your team meeting. If you've got a really pressing task to do at work, you can put an out of office message on your email, letting people know that you will not be responding to emails for a specific period. At the same time, remember to redirect recipients to where they can get help um, for any urgent inquiries they may have. So some other tips for you. Be prepared to say no to requests that you cannot genuinely accommodate without feeling guilty. You can also combine tasks wherever possible without losing focus. And make sure you schedule time to rest. Remember, this video is about protecting time. Now, as one person said, we have 1,440 minutes in a day. Let's ensure that we protect them as far as it depends on us. Remember, be wise with your time and be HR wise. Bye-bye.